Cheers, bud. Thanks for tuning in again. We got a lot of big news coming up here, man. Oh, what a stretch, huh? Remember that? Belden? No. <laughs> Remember that stretch? Bulk Lake, we all met we all met up, you got your dinner bought, blah blah blah. Hiking out. A little bit of a climb, a little this and that. That's a cool map. We are almost halfway by the looks of it. Yeah. Couple more days, we'll be half. Lassen, we coming for you. Another MN Hikings Pro Tip. Buy the Sawyer Squeeze. Buy one of these blue adapters. Um, the kit used to come with them, but I don't think they sell them with them anymore, so you have to go to the hardware store and buy them. But with that, you can do the gravity system, and you never have to squeeze again. All you have to do is poke a hole in the bag. You can use a carabiner or a rope. And then you just fill a bag up with water and you connect your smart water bottle. Um, you do it tight, but then you do it like a half a turn so air can get in there. And then you just let it sit. And in about six minutes, you'll have water without squeezing a drop. And make sure that you do this right away when you get to the water source. So fill up your bag, let it fill up while you're snacking and resting and eating. And by the time you're ready to go, ice cold, delicious water with barely any effort. If you're squeezing, you're a dum dum. Oh, and if you can't find a place to hang your bag, you can just use your pole. I don't know what to tell you other than you could just see on the gut hook like this massive like 5,000 foot descent into Belden. Like what's Belden? Not much. Down, down, down we go to the river. To the little town of Belden where it's over 100 degrees. And then we gotta go up tomorrow 4,000 feet. Fun, fun, fun in the hot sun. Not much at all, but potentially some food. Yeah, they got some a resupply, sweet restaurant, a good restaurant. It was going to be an exciting stop, and we pushed. We pushed a little bit to get into Belden. Hey, bud. Whee. And he's off. Been a hot minute since we've crossed some railroad tracks. So we made it down into Belden finally. Like, we got up there. Sweet views. Sweet views that probably don't exist anymore, unfortunately, due to this stupid Dixie fire. But made it down to Belden, and sure enough, the dang restaurant's closed. Closed. And, like, the guy running the place, the store's closed. Everything's closed. Like, oh, man. Yeah, yeah. I think his name... I can't remember what his name was, but uh, an Are older guy. you say Ivan? I think it is Ivan. But... Ivan? No. No. Anyway, he, he owns the whole area. He owns this restaurant, the bar, the all the places to stay, the camping, the RV hookups. He owns Belden Town, which is just not even a town. It's basically his restaurant, and that's kind of about it. But uh, yeah, it was a it was a cool stop. A couple things happened. Ivan, we'll call him Ivan. <laughs> was nice enough to come through and open up the store even though it was closed yeah. and uh, allow us to get food and stuff and beer and beer and beer so and, yeah and it's and we, well and real quick please. we had a nice trail magic moment big red and i there was a guy who had uh like i don't know i guess cleaned his life up and got off drugs and stuff oh, and wanted to pay it forward and bought our entire resupply both big red and myself and i was a, the guy in front of him man he, they just got shit bought for him and bit buck leg <laughs> so yeah it's good that's cool you guys really got hooked yeah it's really cool and uh 
free camping in the area there. It's kind of off away from, from everything. But uh, when we were walking to the camping, uh, I don't know if we have any pictures or video of it, but in the dark, we're walking back to the camping and I see these bright lights, a big sheet set up, almost like someone's gonna oh, do an yeah. outdoor movie. And what ends up, I went down to investigate and say hi and everything. And it was these two guys that are amateur, like insect guys. And they were spending the night attracting all these different insects and trying to find these different moths. And they actually have discovered a brand new type of insect. And they're probably gonna get to name it. And it's gonna be called like the Belden beetle or moth or <laughs> something like that. But it's really cool, it was really neat. That was good. Cool. It was fun to meet those guys. Uh, but yeah, incredibly hot in Belden. It was so hot, in fact, that we said, we're not even gonna hike today. We're gonna go swim in the river all day. And uh, Ivan was nice enough to open the store again for us. We brought a picnic table out into the river and sat in the water on a picnic table. We played cards out Played there. cards in the river. It was, it was a fun, fun day. I could trash picnic table river party. Hey BR, go ahead bud. When in Belden and it's a hundred degrees. Yeah, it's not quite deep enough or else we'd be jumping off of this. It says Belden and has a martini glass. You gotta love that. Yeah, we're doing a little afternoon chilling at the river, gonna night hike. Waiting for the sun to go down, waiting for it to get a little bit cooler so we could get out of there and... Well, after 24 hours, we're finally leaving Belden. It was a bit too hot to hike out this morning. So we had a little river day. And now we're gonna hike out, do a couple miles. Yeah, we did the big climb out of Belden after the after the heat had died down. Yeah, we did some night hiking out of Belden. Uh, I hiked solo like two hours, longest night hike alone ever. It was awesome. Uh, you know, just to put a dent in this huge climb, it's probably four or five thou up out there. And we were super motivated because we knew dude was set up for a week straight doing trail magic on top of the hill. Ooh, that's a nice sign. Let's go see what they got. So yeah, we get there and the guy's got trail magic. He's got like a buffet style buffet. salad of this, fruit that. Multiple tents, and then plenty of chairs. Chips. Spaghetti dinner. Spaghetti. Delicious. Beverages. Very nice guy. Chairs, awnings. Got the fire truck dude here. Gordon and Frank putting on some fantastic trail magic here. Cold Spring Creek. And uh, we're loving it. Look at this nice cold spring. It would be nice if they were all like this, just pumping out. But as, as we were leaving Belden, we heard that oh, there, we're it up. there may be a fire started that was nearby, very close to us. And so as we get up to this trail mesh at the top of this giant climb, uh, we start seeing a lot of uh, National Forest Service people, rangers, fire people, and they're coming in, they're checking on us. And yeah, it's very, very smoky. And this is kind of the first we're really kind of running into the smoke. Yeah, this is like, like day one or two from Dixie Fire. The Dixie Fire had just started. So as you all know, it's fire season. And just before leaving Belden, there was a fire we heard 12 miles to the west. And we're heading west. And there's smoke ahead, so I'm not liking it right now. Let's hope it's not too bad. Dang, out of the Sierras. Into the Cascades. Gonna have to find a new beer to drink. 
but there was this guy that was. Are you rocking on the camera? You're like, I'm just saying, like it's hilarious. To I haven't watch touched this my happen. face. I haven't touched my hat. Oh, but I, I, I watched this. I'm like, oh my. I God. was itching my leg <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> uh, whoa, 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 whoa! I get rid of him. Get out of here. Shoo! There he goes. It's all right. And this guy, oh, whoa, 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 easy <laughs> now, man. You, they must know. They know, they know. Poofta.